Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this channel ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike. Today we're talking pen kimonos. These were given to me to show to everyone here by Helen and Dom at Helen's Creations NJ. You can find her shop on Etsy. I will have a link in the description uh, for where you can find all of these. In fact, you'll actually only be finding the single and double pen sleeves there, but there are lots of different fabrics. There are lots and lots of different charms available, all that sort of thing. She makes these all with, print with printed Japanese fabric and they're um they're real pretty i actually really like this cherry blossom sort of motif we have going on here you can see the glint from the uh from the gold thread in there very nice fabric uh fabric threads threads strings holding them together cords i'm gonna go with cords very nice cords holding them together and each one of these has a different charm actually i guess these are kind of the same they're both uh, both nibs. This one has uh, little wooden balls on the end. Actually, I really like this one. I think those are cool. Really fits the the kind of motif here. Inside these pin kimonos, you'll find a very nice silky satin uh, interior that goes all the way down each of these pockets. That's the whole interior of this thing. Very nice and soft to protect your pens. And uh, these, I was just testing lots and lots of pens to see what I could stick in here. Uh, and what would what would fit and what might not fit. I tell you, actually, everything I tried fits. So let's just put some pens in these and see how it goes. Um, this is a very moderately sized pen. This is a um, Custom Heritage 92 from Pilot. We'll throw that in there. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to... Do I want to put this, this out? Eh, I don't know. I think it would be better if it's just all the way in. Yeah, there we go. Goes in there just fine. Uh, of course, the Twisby Eco. Everybody has uh, probably had their hands on a Twisby Eco. That pokes out just a little bit. And let's throw something big in there. This is the Franklin Kristoff Model 19. This is the biggest Franklin Kristoff pen. And it's kind of a chonker, this one. And uh, yeah, no problem at all. Fold that over the top. And then just wrap this up. And uh, tuck the tail through. Bam. There you go. Pens are protected. Stuff that right in your bag. Grab it when you're uh, when you're ready to pen again, uh, which is uh, I like these for travel especially. They're good for going back and forth to work. I don't necessarily use them so much at home to store things, but uh, you kind of squeeze them up from the bottom is what I do. A little bit like gogurt or something like that. But then there you go. You can set that on your desk. A little cord underneath and just grab the pen you want when you want it. But that looks very attractive, I think. I really like this material. I think it looks great. This one has a great wave sort of motif going on. Again, very nice uh, glint to the shiny fabric there. The interior, of course, is also satin on these. They fit, well, it's a lamp. That's a Lamy. Uh, we've got uh, this is a Franklin Kristoff Model 2. Stick that in there and uh, fits just fine. The top will kind of, you know, blouse out a little bit when you have more pins in there just because it stretches the material, but it means it also gives it room to move, which is uh, pretty good. I didn't find any pins that wouldn't fit in these. And I tried some long stuff too and thick pins. Like this is a pin from uh, Birmingham Pin Co. This is an older pin. I actually don't remember the model of it. I don't think it says it does not, but this is a pretty chunky pen right here. And this is a Platinum Kyridos, which is a really long pen. It's actually, I think, the longest pen I own by about that much. This is a pretty big pen, but, you know, this tops it. It's a pretty long pen. Let's see how these fit in there. I'm not, I actually haven't put this pen in this sleeve before, so... Yeah, no problem. Fits right in there. Just snugs right up. And this top that folds down means if you have a longer pen, it'll just fold, you know, further up on the thing. But this works just fine. There we go. Let's put this real chunker of a Birmingham Pinco pen in there. Just to see how that goes. Yeah, no problem. It's, it's it's maybe a little bit snug, but but not not that not much. I mean, I'm not gonna have any problem getting it out of there. Yeah, it's right there. So cool. That works out really well. And then uh, yeah, just wrap it up, and away you go. These are also, I think, very uh, very moderately priced at 16 bucks for the single, and then 24 for the double. I'm not sure what the price is for the triple pin sleeve, uh, just because it is not on her Etsy site as of yet. Can you roll this up? Oh, let's see. I don't know if I want to roll it up because it's so nice looking when it's not rolled up, but you never know. Let's try putting this in here. Throw that in, in there like that. Can I roll it? Uh, yeah, you totally could. You might crease up the fabric a little bit, but yeah, that actually that actually might be best. <laughs> that might be the best way to do it with this triple. I, I like how that, uh, how that folds up, but you don't really have to. There we go. 
Yeah, very nice. All right, so there you go. You can find these, as I said, on the Etsy store for Helen's Creations NJ, and I do kind of hope we see them at future pen shows. They were also going to load up that store with some more things. They also had very nice glass pens there. Some of them were like were weather glass glass pens, which I thought was really neat. If you're not sure what a weather glass is, go and, and Google that. Uh, but they're really neat. I hadn't seen glass pens like that before, as well as Kiwi inks, which I'm a big fan of. I really like Kiwi inks, and they had some of those there too. So I think Helen's Creations is going to be uh, selling more stuff as they go and so keep an eye on that Etsy shop and to keep an eye out for Helen and Dom if they get to any other pin shows thanks for watching I will see y'all later on peace out